had been reading about Bullhead Island at the time, and we decided to stop by and just have a look at what it was like. They took us over in a, uh, in a small boat. You had to go near high tide because the harbor wasn't done at, at that time. This was in the uh, early 1970s. We went into the creek. We, um, we, we go into the creek and we were shown around by a, a, a John Messick. And uh, he also, while we were there, took us fishing. We caught some fish and we were hooked. We had two hooks on, on each rod and I reeled in two fish on one reel in. And I said, well, this is what we do. It's hard to say what one thing it was that attracted us most to the other, but I think the uh, that sort of the environment, the peacefulness here was was a main attraction to us. And at that time, we had probably a seven-year-old little girl and a five-year-old little girl, and they loved coming over on that little boat. And no one was here, you know. And then when we went out fishing, they they caught a fish and they were excited, and uh, it just seemed like a good place for a family. And then when we moved here full time, I immediately became a nest monitor. And I'd say for me and the two girls who are no longer, we're no longer seven and five, but in the teenage years and, and beyond, um, we sat out at nests and uh, talked to people about the turtles and I'd say actually that that was probably the, the most satisfying for me. And what our children remember the most is seeing the babies hatch. Well, we no longer live on the island. We're now in a retirement community. And uh, we do get here a few times a year. Our daughters have a uh, hammock, so that's uh, four times a year we try to visit for some of those times. So our, we, we retain an interest when it's still on the, uh, the board for the, uh, the Conservancy and we uh, stay in touch that way. But it's <clears throat> certainly not the same as living out here. No, and I'm on the committee for the 40th anniversary parties, so still have our fingers in the pie a little bit, but not as intense as it used to be. John was in charge of the fishing school for years. We were both in charge of the picnic for years. And so certainly we're keeping us busy the whole time we lived here, and it's very different now, just a very small involvement, but we would never not be part of the conservancy. I think that uh, as we look ahead, there is going to be uh, opportunity for things like a continued increase in the connection with schools like UNCW. Uh, I think there will be the, uh, the continuous leadership here in what we do on Baldhead Island to maintain the, the unique resource, which is the maritime forest. And, support of the turtle, so I, I really think that, uh, that the uh, future is, uh, is very bright and uh, I kind of envy folks that are starting out uh, afresh. <laughs>